What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm doing this video on the day it's going up because today's April 29th of 2024. Four years ago today, April 29th of 2020, sorry I'm squinting because the sun's right by. April 29th of 2020 was when I posted my first sauce review on here. And yes, Tom, it was hot sauce. I wasn't even in front of the camera. I think I did two or three sauces at a time. Let's see maybe if I could try to repost that video. And uh, so everybody could possibly see how bad it was. I mean, it's bad. Mine are bad now, but not as bad as those ones. But anyway, since it is my uh, four-year anniversary of this channel, I figure we're going to do a hot sauce review. Of doing hot sauce reviews, I should say, on this channel. We're going to do a sauce review. And it is a hot sauce, Tom. It is manufactured by K. John, or I'm sorry, K. John's Foods, LLC, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. You can find them at kajons.com. And this is Kajons Fiery Foods Company's Black Garlic Hot Sauce. Sounds pretty good. I had a Black Garlic Ghost, which was pretty decent, I, I believe. Been a while since I reviewed it, but we're going to do this one now. At least I think that video's gone up yet. Who knows, maybe it hasn't. I filmed so far ahead of time. Anyway, with that said, uh, yeah, so we got some Black Garlic Hot Sauce here. Pretty cool label, I like it. I'm trying to hold it in the sun because the shadow of this flip up screen on my camera is blocking it. But uh, yeah, we'll read a little right up here on the side. It says Kajon's Black Garlic Hot Sauce Umami Bomb. Prepare, prepare yourself for an explosion of flavor. This sauce combines a blend of black garlic, garlic, sweet soy, and Fresno chilies that will release an unforgettable umami explosion. Kaboom! This sauce is one of our new favorites and it is sure to become yours to Kajon. New favorites. I've had this on the shelf. I usually like all of them for a while, about a while, so probably at least a year and a half, I'd say. But anyway, uh, calories 10 calories in a teaspoon, 30 per bottle, 30 times 10, 300 calories per bottle. All uh, right, now we're gonna get into the ingredients. We got Fresno pepper, apple cider vinegar, sweet soy sauce, which is sugar soy extract which is water, salt, soybeans, and wheat, then water, salt, caramel color, sodium benzoate, citric acid, and xanthan gum. That's the sweet soy sauce. Then brown sugar, which is obviously sugar molasses, black garlic power, I think it's supposed to be black garlic powder, garlic powder, cayenne powder, and salt. Yep, this right here, it has black garlic power in it. There it is, baby, black garlic power. <laughs> eh, stuff happens, right? So we're gonna give us a shaky shake and give us a try hopefully if I can get the seal off I'll try that at home kids come on there we go all right and no flow restrictor which most sauces don't use it anymore so here's our consistency check hopefully you can see it the way the Sun is it's pretty bad but you know looks like a normal hot sauce consistency to me and now we're going to give it the smell test. Ooh, that smells amazing. I know I say it all the time, but this really does. I get that garlic, I get that Fresno pepper, that sweet soy sauce, the apple cider vinegar, the brown sugar too. It smells amazing. Let's give us a pour. go there's what it looks like on the spoon it's hard to see because of the sun and here we go from Kajon's in Charlotte North Carolina their black garlic hot sauce cheers mm. okay my bottle mmm I should have wore my, 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 uh, my bottle shirt that Dave and Paula got me. Check out Funky Food with Dave. That's good. Oh, that's got some nice heat to it, too. It's just Fresno pepper and cayenne powder. I really get the brown sugar. This is a little on the sweet side. Oh, yeah. This is definitely good on some rice. My bottle. Mm. I'm thinking pizza. Even it's a little bit a little sweet, but I would say maybe it's a dip for like egg rolls or something like that. 
That sweet soy is amazing in there. Mm. Glad I picked a really good sauce to do for my fourth anniversary. Ah, mm. That's really good. I looked one day, I looked like one day last week, and I got almost a thousand sauce reviews on this channel. Not counting the snacks and the trains and all that, but a thousand sauce reviews on those, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Um, so from Kajon's Fiery Food Company, their black garlic hot sauce. Now the heat, it's a one, it's a Fresno, it's cayenne. It's not overly hot, but it's pretty good. Tiny bit of lip tingle. Flavor, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give us an eight out of 10. I like the soy sauce, I like the brown sugar in there. I love Fresno peppers, very under, underused peppers, just like the guajillo, very underused. Anchos, very underused. Um, you really get the brown sugar though. Get the garlic, the soy sauce, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, that Fresno pepper, really good. So again, that is Kajon's Fiery Food Company's Black Garlic Hot Sauce, one on heat, eight on flavor, definitely recommend. So, now let's get into um, thanking everybody who watches my channel every day. I don't know why you do, it's cringe as hell, but I appreciate the fact that you do. Um, I hate giving shout outs because I don't want to forget anybody, but you know, we got, you know, Paul and David at 802 Heat, uh, Funky Food with Dave, Tom at uh, Knife Order now, Tom Bailey. This is about his like 16th channel, I think, till YouTube takes this one. I don't know if to make number 17, because you know, if you tell the truth, folks, people don't like it. Uh, Andy and Good Juice Hot Sauce, Tony the Pineappler, uh, Crazy Food Crew, um, Larry's, Larry D's Chili Head Aquatics, another good channel. I hope I said that right, Larry. If I didn't, I apologize. Um, but remember, people, if it wasn't for Kurt Miller, there'd be no heat community. I'm pretty sure that's a lie. Considering that I had thought about doing this before I ever knew who he was. And just remember, saying you are sober... And you use alcoholic tincture, tincture with alcohol in it. It's like saying you don't eat fast food, but you go to Burger King three days a week. That just don't make any sense. Um, oh, to toots, fuck you. I know Tom will like that one. Um, but yeah, no, but seriously, thank you, everybody. Uh, as much as I don't want to thank, well, I won't thank Kurt Miller. If it wasn't for his channel, I mean, I probably would have found everybody eventually, but I probably wouldn't have found them all as soon as in one and in, 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 in one place. But um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody who follows the channel or I mean, who subscribes to the channel. You know, who watches this stuff every day, cringes hell. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everybody watching. Like I say, four years ago today, I remember when I started the channel. I was like, man, if I get 100 subscribers, I'll be happy. That's I don't even I don't care if I ever make money on this channel. And now I just checked before I started filming. I'm at 719. I lost a subscriber from yesterday. Let me wipe the tears from my eyes. Uh, probably a channel that you know nobody was using and it just got deleted. But anyway, 719 subscribers. I didn't think I'd ever hit that. That's for sure. I never thought I'd hit 200. Then I, me and my nephew posted that blue talkies video and I gained 52 subscribers in a week and I was almost at 250 and then you know next thing I know I'm at 300 or 4 and 5 and 6 it's like geez now I'm at 719 I mean it's cool as hell um if I get to a thousand well I'm already well let me put it this way I'm at 500 over 500 if I can get to 3,000 watched hours in the last 365 days I get monetized on YouTube I'm at 1,809 right now, which I know this time of year is kind of slow for watching because the weather's nicer, people are outside, but I'm just rambling now. But anyway, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody who shouted out the channel, who's watched the channel. Oh, geez, I forgot. Steve had heat my shorts. My God, I'm sorry, Steve. How the hell did I forget to throw a shout out to you? Steve had heat my shorts. Um, yeah, just anybody who's ever shouted out the channel who has watched one of my videos, I appreciate it. Um... I might try to do a live stream on my Twitch channel. 
um, twitch, twitch.tv slash Scott Garlic. Um, I might do a live stream hot sauce review on there one day. Maybe do three or four, maybe do three or four reviews. I mean, I could do a live stream on here. Maybe I'll do a live stream on here one day and uh, review some sauces and just BS with everybody. But, uh, you know, comments are nice back and forth. But, you know, live stream's nicer because you can actually, you know, you're chatting in the moment, you know. But one of these days, maybe I'll meet some of, some of, you, some of you guys. Oh, I've got to thank Anna, too. I forgot Anna G's. Like I said, that's why I hate doing shout-outs because I forget Anna, Anna's always in here, too. She's awesome. I hope I'm not forgetting anybody else. Um, if I did, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, but other than that, uh, thank you for watching. Like I said, that was a good sauce. Definitely get it. 8 out of 10. Uh, Kajon's Black Garlic Hot Sauce, I believe. Yes, there it is. And it's like 88 degrees today, so I went for a walk and figured I'd come down here and shoot this video. And uh, I'm forgetting something. Oh, that was for how, how I forgot about this. Tom would kill me. Uh, remember, always remember above everything else, fuck that guy. Thank you for watching.